I'm gonna be honest, you guys. I really didn't feel like making a video today. But you know what? The show must go on! I'm certain that I'm not the only person that deals with this. You know, those days where you just wake up, you know you got stuff to do, but you just don't feel like doing anything at all. You just want to lay there and just be, I don't know, be lifeless <laughs> or just not leave the house at all, at least. I've been there plenty of times in my life and today is no exception. Now, I, I am already dressed and everything. I took a shower and shaved and all that good stuff. But, you know, honestly, while I was doing it, I just didn't feel like doing anything at all. I just wanted to sit around and just maybe watch videos all day, watch movies or something. And and just, just enjoy, enjoy my home. You know, enjoy, enjoy where I stay. I, I like it here. I, I, sometimes I don't feel like going anywhere and this is one of those days. But, I do have a trip today. It's a very short trip, very easy trip but I, I'm gonna have to leave the house regardless. But getting up to go to work, um, that, that's not an issue for me. I know I have to do it. I know if I don't do it, I'll be in trouble. So, you know, that's pretty much all the motivation I need to get out of bed. But when it comes to filming, that's a little different. I don't have to film. I don't have to pull out this camera. I don't have to say anything. But I, I want to because, you know, I enjoy doing this stuff. But like I said, this is just one of those days where I just didn't feel like doing anything. So, the reason I am doing something, the reason I did pull out the camera, is because I want to challenge myself personally to see what I can create when I feel as though I'm at my lowest. And I don't mean the lowest point in my life, but I mean my lowest motivation to, to get up and pull the camera and do something. I'd rather just not pull out the camera at all and just go about my day. But I said, hey. Pull out the camera anyway, just do it. Let's see how it turns out. And who knows, maybe filming for the next few minutes may turn my whole perception around and I may just wanna film all day. So we'll just see how this freaking goes. I just received this package in the mail. Just a few things I bought off Amazon. Um, decorative lights, kinda like Christmas lights in a way, but I I'm trying to decorate my back patio area. And um, I figure so. I figure so. That would be a, a great addition to what I'm trying to do. Um, I got this right here, which is an LED ring light for camera lenses, which should make um, vlogging, like the stuff I'm doing right now, you know, look a lot better. And also bought three um, LED floodlights for the back patio area as well. So that's an entirely separate project that's going to come a little bit later. Um, I will decide to, uh, well I already decided, I'm going to make a video of where I live and everything and, and um, you know, show the living conditions of a pilot. This is a project that's going to be for another time. Um, I'm, I'm going to film that as well, you know, when that time comes, but for now I'm just going to... Let me show you this. This is what I'm actually excited about. That's right everybody, I got a new vlogging camera. It's something that I wanted for a very long time, so I decided to just go ahead and get it. I mean, I got this camera for multiple reasons, but the main reason is so I could improve the actual quality of the vlogs that I normally do. And uh, I want you to be the judge. I want you to tell me if you find a significant difference in the quality of these videos. Anywho, I'm getting my stuff packed for this trip right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing that, and then I'm going to hit the road because I have a few stops to make along the way. Okay, so I got my keys, got my wallet, got my cell phone, got my uniform, got my cameras. I think I'm good to go. Except for one thing, I'm, I'm really hungry right now. Just wanna have a little something to eat. Yeah. I, I don't normally do this, but today I'm gonna have to make an exception. <laughs> care of that. Much better. Time to go. I gotta get used to using this 
new gear. It's not like I just get a new camera and instantly know how to use it. It takes a little bit of practice. All right, we're in a plane. Here we go. So currently we are 43,000 feet over Utah, heading to Van Nuys. We flew from Van Nuys to Rifle, Colorado, and then now we're flying back to Van Nuys. We dropped two people off, now we're heading back home. They had some catering on board, which they generously, they generously left some behind, so got some food to eat when we get back home. Um, Richard actually brought some uh, tamales, which I enjoyed. Ah, so good. It's my first time flying with Richard since we've known the Lear 60 together. You guys remember those videos from before. So we're flying in a Challenger 300 together for the first time. And uh, when we went out to training out in uh, New Jersey, we actually went together. It was pretty cool. Uh, I've never been to a class where I actually get to work with the person that I'm training with. So that was a pretty cool experience. So this is the captain of a Challenger 300. At night, I'm opening and closing the windows. At night, I'm swiveling the chair around. At night. Ah! I burned my freaking tongue! At night. Only my real OGs know where that came from. Ow! I burned my hand! At night. So my initial thoughts on this airplane, I really enjoy it. Compared to the Learjet, I mean, the climb performance is not as good as a Learjet. You know, when you push those throttles all the way forward in a Learjet, you're back in your seat like you wouldn't believe. This airplane, not so much, but it's still good. What used to take maybe 12 minutes or so to get from sea level to 41,000 feet, take about 12 minutes, sometimes 13. This plane, it takes about 16. 15 to 16, so just a little lack of performance, but my god, the room in this airplane is great. I mean, the leg room, um, up in the cockpit, fantastic. And I still got my foot warmers that they have on the floor. I really love that. The lavatory is designed way better than the Learjet. Anybody who's flown a Lear 60 before or any type of Learjet will know that the toilets are crap. Pun intended. I also really like the fact that the baggage is easy to access. We don't have to go outside to get the bags. We can get whatever we want from in here. Hey, let me show you. So that was a nice little quick trip. Just landed Van Nuys, got the plane all nice and clean, prepped for tomorrow's flight. But I'm not going on tomorrow's flight. I got the day off. 
so I'm going to uh, kick back and relax. Night, 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 night